I've been playing Elden Ring with mind controls. The way that it works is that this EEG on my head picks up the electrical activity coming from my brain. And when you visualize different things, your pattern of brain activity is different. So for example, this is what my brain looks like when I'm talking to you now, roughly, roughly, because I'm doing loads of different things and I'm moving around a lot and I'm thinking and doing different skills. It keeps fluttering and changing. But if you do one specific thing, so for example, visualizing pushing something forward, your brain looks a certain way. So I'll do that now and watch the brain activity change. The software that I'm using basically remembers these patterns of brain activity. And then when it says over a certain threshold, hey, you're doing that thing that you reminded me to remember that you can do, then that remembrance <laughs> is a uh, keybind into whatever I want. So for these ones, I'm imagining pushing something heavy forward. When I imagine doing that, that pattern of brain activity is keybinded to my dodge. The next one is called pull. This pattern of brain activity is the one that happens when I'm imagining a plate spinning to the tune of you spin me right round, maybe right round. And this one for the sake of this trial will be keybinded to my attack button. This one is for my healing. And it's the pattern of brain activity that happens when I imagine something sinking in water very slowly to the speed of I don't know if the song helps. We completed Elden Ring using those mind control things, but we were still moving around with the controller. So it wasn't completely hands-free. It wasn't completely mind control, which is incredibly lame and not what I wanted. So we've got, we started again, basically, and we've added movement. This is the new controller that I made. And what it does is it basically combines all of the visualizations that I just told you guys about. And that's what the push, pull, lift, drop means. And that's the button that it presses if you trigger them. If I imagine pushing something forward, you'll see the lift word flash red, and then that means that the A button on an Xbox controller, a virtual Xbox controller would be pushed. But we've also added gyro controls. So that's how I can move. I, my head and neck is now a virtual joystick. It's still a work in progress and I plan to add more mental commands, expand on the gyro controls and incorporate things like facial expressions, emotion recognition and eye tracking. But for now, here it is in action.